Brenna Stewart, along with Nafisa Collier, they're, they're starting a, a new yeah. women's league. What more can you tell me about Unrivaled? Yeah, so what we've been talking about for the last couple of years is this prioritization rule of the WNBA. And it goes into full effect in 2024. And what it means is if you are not back from your overseas commitments by the start of WNBA training camp, you can't play the whole season. That's right. it. And that really affects the foreign market for players where it was already a tough, a, a tougher go with the Russian market closing. Nobody's going to play there after what happened to Brittany Griner. Um, other things have closed off. Turkey still has some, some opportunities with Fenerbahce, which is where Brianna Stewart plays. But a lot of those leagues go all the way through the middle of May. And that would restrict those players who are on those big contracts overseas from getting back to the States in time to start WNBA training camps. Nobody wanted to see that happen. And so Nafisa Collier from the Minnesota Lynx and Brianna Stewart started talking. And they came up with this idea of founding their own league that would run from January through March. It's going to be three on three in a single site. So they don't have to worry about travel. Yep. Just all the players would live in Miami. The games would be on a sound stage, So it's going to be very entertainment focused. And it's three on three, which is a different kind of game. I talked to Chelsea Gray, who is one of the players who's committed to playing this new league, which they're fundraising for. But they expect to launch in January of 2024 as an alternative to playing overseas that if they can make the amount of salary, which is they, they say they're going to make a salary that's commensurate to what they make in the WNBA. And the maximum salary in WNBA is $230,000. So not as much necessarily as the seven-figure contracts they make in Turkey or what they used to make in Russia, but in line to the point where you don't have to go overseas. The, Chelsea was really excited about the idea of just picking up where the WNBA leaves off. Like she says, you know, we play for a couple of months and then people forget about us until the next season because we're playing overseas. This gives Brianna Stewart, Nafisa Collier, and the top 30 players in women's basketball an opportunity to start a new league, to give a, another off-season option. And I, I'm curious to see where this goes because 3 3 is a different game. Right. Like, very different game. Chelsea very. Gray goes, I'm going to have to start training for that. Like, if, I, if I'm on an island, there's no Candace Parker behind me <laughs> defensively. There's right. no Asia Wilson behind me defensively. It's 3-on-3. Three three. Exactly. It's kind of you, you have two teammates, and, and that's it. And you mentioned it. The funding already underway, yeah. starting to look good. But why is there this belief, Ramona, that these women and think, you know what, this is actually going to work. Well, one, there's a belief in the WNBA and women's sports in general. There's also a belief in the idea that if you have 30 of the best players and the best stars in the WNBA committed to this league and playing in this league, it's something people are going to want to watch. And I think that's the that's if you can pay them an equitable salary, if you can pay them something that makes sense for them financially. Um, you know, stars want to play. Brianna Stewart said, stars want to play. We want to stay home. She and her wife are about are expecting their second child. Yep. She has enjoyed, she said, I enjoyed playing in Turkey. I took Ruby, her, her, her daughter, um, to play in Turkey this year. But with, with child number two, it's harder. Nafisa Collier said, I've always been a homebody. I, you know, arranging child care overseas is difficult. But I like being home for the holidays. So this gives an opportunity for stars to stay home. It's something that people have been trying to do forever. But they think they have the right formula here, especially if they get the buy-in from the top players, which they already feel very good about. Well, and to that point, I love the sentiment that Nafisa Collier shared. She said, Stewie and I, we both have daughters. Yeah. It's our responsibility to show them and every young girl that looks up to us that sometimes you don't got to wait your turn. You can either beg for a seat at the table or you can build your own table. And we are mm -hmm. building our own tables. Ramona Shelburne, thank you so very much. Sat Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.